Clemson is a seven and a half point favorite in the ACC title game against North Carolina, and the total sits at 64 on this, and it just continues to go up. And the reason it continues to go up is because I, I believe that nobody thinks that uh, any of these defenses can actually get stops. And I don't know that I disagree with them on any of this. Um, we're going to pull up the uh, the stats so that you can see why it would be like that. My issue is that these offenses have been able to find ways to stop themselves here lately. So let's talk about it. Let's try and figure this out. It's 8 p.m. Eastern time on ABC. That's when the game is. You look at strength of record. You look at uh, the offensive and defensive numbers. Like Clemson is number 104 uh, PPA per drive on offense. Over the past five weeks, North Carolina's defense is number 103. North Carolina's offense, number 35 in PPA per drive over the last five weeks. Clemson's defense, number 16. Like, this Clemson offense cannot throw the football, but they can absolutely run it. If they just focus on running the football, I think they would be a lot better and would run away with this thing. But... If you look at what they've done over the past five weeks, they're still throwing it 47% of the time, even though they're number 129 in PPA per pass on offense. Like, that is just mind-blowing. When they get behind the chains, they are in a lot of trouble. You get into third and long, second and long, even. Passing downs PPA, they're number 122. Uh, Well, passing downs PPA on defense for North Carolina, they're number 51. They're not bad. Passing down success rate, they're number 23. That defense shows up when they really, really need to, at least over the last five weeks. They've been uh, significantly better. So that's something to pay attention to on this. Uh, But if they decide, if Clemson decides to run the football, I mean, this is an issue for North Carolina because they have had uh, some injuries. They've had some just problems uh, with that front seven. They're number 63 in PPA per rush allowed, number 73 in rushing success rate allowed. Well, Clemson is number 13 and number 20 in that on offense. You move over to the other side of the ball. Clemson is number 20 in PPA per pass allowed, number 23 in passing success rate allowed. Well, this North Carolina offense has not been great throwing the football uh, over the past five weeks. They're number 65 in PPA per pass on offense, number 17 in passing success rate. But this Clemson team, like, they still got dudes on defense. They're going to be able to slow this North Carolina offense down. If you look based on what North Carolina has done the last two weeks, Georgia Tech had an absolutely fantastic game plan for them. NC State had a fantastic game plan for them. I I have to roll Clemson here. Like, I know that Clemson hasn't exactly given us any real reason to trust them, but as North Carolina, like, I, I don't know that I really want to bet on either one of these teams, but if I am sitting here telling you which direction I would lean if I had to make a pick on the game, it's got to be Clemson. They got to bounce back after last week, I would imagine. You know, I, you could say that about North Carolina, but North Carolina is a little more used to losing. I know that sounds awful, but give me Clemson here. To cover the 7.5, uh, I like Dabo to be able to get another ACC title and to head over to the Orange Bowl. I think they will cover the 7.5 because I expect them to run the ball. Quit trying to throw it with DJU. Just just do it. Just stop. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.